gameplay first look. I'm Nick Mazesco, and alongside me it is none other than the Dev K Spades, but these guys don't want to watch us play. Joining us, we have none other than Cowboys linebacker, one of the best to do it in the game, Micah Parsons, and just a man known as the Madden Millionaire. But it is none other than Henry. Gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I like, I like these new intros into, into the game. You kind yeah, of for a, sure. I mean, intros is something that you see every time you start a game, so making sure. Hey guys, what I'm gonna do, um, cause I missed the actual premiere live um, on YouTube. So what I'm gonna do, I was, I, I, man, I had to go cut the grass. But anyway, so you guys, uh, if you haven't seen it, I haven't seen it either. So what I'm gonna do is stop it in certain sections to talk about it. How about that, all right? Give me my input as the video goes on, all right? Here we go. Should we breathe life into that moment is something that was important to the team. Mikey, you spent a lot of time inside of AT&T Stadium. How, how realistic did they get this? Uh, this is super realistic. The graphics is actually pretty insane. Talk to me a little bit about high level. You've heard a lot uh, about boom tech and yep. what's coming into the game, and that's something that we're going to see right off the bat here in the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously for the dev team, the big thing was just giving control to the players. So you speak to boom tech, uh, you know, wanting to take the hit stick, which to me is probably the greatest addition. The one thing I like about the hit stick this year is going to be People can't abuse the hit stick. I mean, people are trying to hit stick on every tackle. But now, guys, if they don't hit stick right, they will pay the consequences. All right? You either have a successful hit stick or you have a failure hit stick, in my opinion. Into the Madden franchise and, uh, you know, adding a skill mechanic to it. Really excited about this, though. This is, this is the, uh, the We're going to see time. the new kickoff rule in the NFL here in the game for a lot of these people before the NFL even kicks off with it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we got a chance to work with some NFL coaches and just talk to them about we could have put this in a more high resolution, change, man. You know, what some things you would do. And uh, we were able to kind of take like some the design of the kick me versus uh, game. college football. Micah on offense <coughs> first. We're going to see Henry dealing with the defense. See how that user overran it? I like this. I like that this year. If you line it up, it feels rewarding. But most people are going to click off, though. We added more control on the defensive side. Now, go ahead, K Spade. Go ahead, K Spade. As well as how well your left stick is aligned to the ball carrier. If you get a perfect boom stick, which is what I'm calling it, you'll see the feet. That's a perfect hit on the football right there. Indicate a ring of turn green at the bottom at his feet, and that lets you know that you perfectly aligned it. It feels great. Henry's having too much fun over there. Henry, it's, it's two plays. And he still didn't get the fun he probably wanted, but that was a good lineup hit stick in my opinion. But, yeah, they got some good guys working on the game right here, man. I, I like that. I like that. Nick, as always. Into the new game. You just enjoying this so much? It's actually really fun playing this game, especially when you're going against somebody that, you know, who's a, a great opponent. And that was the case there where the, the hit stick was perfectly squared, but the timing wasn't perfect. See, that was another hit stick that wasn't successful, but at least they tried, man. So I'm glad they can't abuse the hit stick. Something I want to call out that a compliment Boom Tech is the ball carrier balance system. So with this system, you're going to see more physics-driven brokens, stumbles, and stumble recoveries. So players' strength, move, speed, ratings all matter more than ever. Oh, and another thing I should mention, Boom Tech allows us to let physics inform the outcome of our tackles. So we can play. Now, just to interrupt this, guys, now, what's going to happen is, just like they do at NCAA, I mean, college football 25, people are going to say the, tackle is, the tackling is broken. But that's the physics. You see how we're slipping off tackles? His, his momentum, his balance, it depends on the size of the players, all of that. And then people say the, the tackling is broken, just like in college football. And there's nothing wrong with that. If they're trying to bring physics um, into the everything, momentum and all that weight, Speed. Play the same tackle start, and physics can resolve that tackle in a number of ways. So that means we get less. See, he outcomes, didn't get enough hit on that, and that's just much more variety. Probably a size difference, weight Early difference. fourth down attempt. Trying to keep the offense on the field. Come on, Dad. Oh my God, bro. And <laughs> <laughs> they're back with Mahomes. Those are over the middle. Big hit. I like how they show the, the speed contact. icon right there. Do it again. Do it I've again. I've been doing it the whole game. Do it again. Nah, Never hit. Nah, 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 nah. It's always nah, nah. Henry, you got red zone offense yet? You haven't lobbed this up? Nah, I got, I got some, I got something right okay. there. On this right. play, uh, I guarantee. Guarantee. The guarantee's out there. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. All right. 
So this year, you're going to notice that the size of the ball landing spot speaks to the accuracy of the pass. That's a good end catch the animation size, where the, the receiver comes back for the and ball. A bigger landing spot just means that that pass was more inaccurate. And the color speaks to the catchability, with green being 100% catchable, yellow mean likely catchable, and red mean likely uncatchable. Why do you keep looking at me? So the colors are on the field. <clears throat> Respect your read. Respect your read. Block Respect on the outside. There he goes. Respect your read. 15, Respect your read. Respect your read. Ball. Respect your read. Trying to stand up on you. Waiting, looking, and oh. Uh, I hate that last in. minute oh, throwaway right, right there, man. Those should be <laughs> fumbles. <laughs> if you don't take the you sack, they should be fumbles. Head. I'm not going to let it happen. Left side. There's one of those juke moves. Back at it, spin move, back at it. Uh, people are going to abuse Henry, how that. Those, how do those those new skill moves feel compared to last year? Uh, Perfect. It's more like, not only like do they like work like really well, but like it's more realistic. Like last year we had the juke where you went like crazy inside and stuff. Now like this is- oh, That's a nice stutter step. Feel. To that point, I mean, the juke that everyone- Yeah, look at those stutter steps. Like those are beautiful. It, it's a little bit unrealistic, a little bit warpy. And uh, we just wanted to replace that asset with something that looked more lifelike. And it, you still can get busy with it. You still can get open. And then, still like, phone works I'm, pretty I'm, good. I might be tripping, but Pacheco, like, I feel like you're running like you're running in real life. You mean like a kid trying on new shoes? <laughs> <laughs> like, angry exactly. at the ground? <laughs> that was one of the signature locomotion sets that we were yeah, able to add this year. So he has such a unique run style that was something that's that we didn't have to feel like we really nailed it. Beautiful top, pass. Him, found him down to the one yard line. Now that I think is a it's great green too. Of, you guys did a lot of work with pass trajectories as well, trying to make it ability to fit into tighter windows and make some of those more precision throws. Yeah, so for a bullet pass, for instance, we sped that pass up. So you can throw it faster. It's a little bit lower trajectory. This year, the return of jumping linebackers. Linebackers can jump, so you want to make sure you I know Mike is probably happy to hear about I'm linebackers sure jumping. Is. You got, you're going to want to utilize the fact that it's now you can get more arc on a lob or a pass. Patrick pass. Mahomes. All right. Your signature, Patty. Mm, good hit. Right I hate those attack. hits, man. They you never tackle. Not Everybody's not doing hits. The abilities to got to tune in this That's a great pass well. right so there. Time has got to be more precise for starters, and also slow it down a bit when you're behind a play. Like making sure that I'm glad. that makes sense. Guys, one thing I'm gonna tell you about knockouts. I don't like them, cause sometimes you got a complete catch. And then a knockout comes. Is that realistic to me? You don't see that kind of. You don't see all of knockouts in the NFL like that. So I'm glad they're doing it where you have to get the hit stick just right to cause a, uh, not a hit stick, but a uh, knockout. You got to hit it, get it just right to get a knockout this year. Stepping up, taking off, Mahomes. Oh, Humble ball. Oh, that's a point. Good play, Mike. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right, let me stand up too, cause I don't, I don't like the way you're talking. I don't like this. Can we get like a step stool for Henry so he can the same height? You're not that tall. Henry and Parsons. Oh, there it is, Zeke. There goes Zeke back in. Oh, Zeke Prime. You'll see these guys when they're running through the lane. They'll have like awareness of what's going on around them. You'll see them get skinny, tuck up, uh, move the ball away from defenders. Dak, end zone. Back of the end zone. That's exactly where I wanted to be. So you pass the football. Right you got to look for the green, I guess. You're uncomfortable right well, now. I play better when I'm down. We should talk about the new pass protections that's uh, in Madden NFL 25. What pass protection? Okay, I want to talk about the new slide protection mechanic in the game. Oh, Last year, you can only slide college protection football. in four ways. And this year, it's eight ways. For me, my favorite you can't is do it on the road, slide, though, at least not in college football. Line and give them a slide protection, and you'll see blocking matchups, so you know exactly who is blocking who, and you'll see the flame icon on the unblocked player or the hot player on that play. Second and short, clock running. Steps I like up, him. Wow. Fire. I like him. Open down field. field! What? He don't know what to do. I got him shook. <laughs> What are you, okay. I'm in a two-touch okay, okay, lead. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see how sick I really am. Let's see. Let's see how sick I really am. Like, why aren't we talking about how Mike is up on it to halftime? Like, our champion is being dominated right now here. Yeah. Like, and the yeah. Madden NFL 25 <clears throat> gameplay first look. This is six at worst, eight at best. And coverage. Yep, got him. Why is Mahomes lit up right now? You know why he's lit up. Look at what he's doing to you. And I'm running Speed at you. Speed option. And I'm running at you. Low pitch. And I'm running at you. 
Oh man, people are gonna abuse that play. The option? Ooh. Wide open. Oh, See, I'm glad that, didn't, that no hot yeah, knockout should happen right there. But then again, it's not going to happen against longer. Kelsey. Yeah, so spec catch, as you called out to it. For one, I'm going to do it just because it's cool. But at the same time, um, you do have a slightly Beautiful animation. Beautiful. People aren't going to like that either. Also more but it's beautiful. To knockouts and drops, they just can't overdo it. You can't you overdo those one-hand catches. That's all. Yeah, Nick, new hot route. So... The outside receiver now. Once or twice a game, yeah. A speed I guess out a good receiver. A regular out. When the a good receiver does the streak, it. And now Zig has been removed, and now you can run a corner route. The slot receiver now gets a post route where it used to be a fade, and they get a corner route where it used to be a zig. For tight ends, a post route replaced the delayed fade, a slant replaced the block and release cross, and a corner route now replaces what used to be block and release flat. Halfbacks got new hot routes as well, so the flat route replaces what used to be wheel, and the triple option now replaces what used to be a check and release. Oh yeah, <coughs> wide open. He doesn't need the one hand catch that he's open, so why should they get the one hand catch? Guys, see when they put new stuff in the game, they don't balance it correctly. You don't need a one hand catch on a receiver that's wide open. Why have the one hand catch animation? Just have the regular catch. That was that shouldn't be that one-handed catch should be a spectacular catch in a corner of an end zone or diving for the ball or something like that. Not just a regular catch where you regularly open. So that means that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be one-handed catches all in the game. It's not realistic. Dak Prescott left side. He's got him. Good read. See the new possession catches. Mm-hmm. Can branch out of any catch now and just branch they really don't use cd lamb right man it's a catch. good receiver that sure they don't really win. use correctly the catch type. We can get i like the that catch inside it uh inbounds animation you don't like what people do that i think the biggest thing i'm noticing from year to beautiful. year beautiful look at look at running animation that's beautiful in this game it really does feel different from last year's that's game. beautiful one of the players to feel weighty if that makes sense um you know obviously your more agile players they should feel super Beautiful. agile oh yeah yeah that's a pick all the way yo safety there it is that was going to see you three times Oh, yeah. Stepping up, taking the shot down the field. Does he have him? Brandon Does he Cooks. have him? Come on, dog. Brandon Cooks. Come on, dog. Hey, he's still in the pocket now. He's still tall. Come there. on, dog. Beautiful. Uh-uh. Patrick. Yo, off the back foot and everything. Mahomes. It's a two-time Super Bowl winner. What are you talking about? Don't do this. You know I'm going to you know score a touchdown right here. You heard me? You heard me? Can you hike the ball? Okay, can I hike? I mean, I'm telling you. I just told you I was going to score a touchdown. <laughs> I just told you that. <laughs> Quick out. CD Lamb. Got him. CD Lamb. Went for the diving slot. But that's that new pass trajectory. You did see that come out of out yeah, the of line. Uh, uh, the the line fast, play. Zip and was able to fit it in between. The line play seems to be more dynamic as I'm watching it. Um, they're not blindly letting people run in. Um, but, you know, let's see how they pick up the blitzes, though. Between those uh, two defenders. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit quicker than last year's. Oh. They're picking them up. Picking them up. Right side. Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's Kelsey. rumbling. 25, Best 20, in the 15, league. 10. In the league. Into the end zone. We want to be what here. we built for. This is what we built for, for sure. Yo, no way, no way! Nah, 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 no way, yeah. dog. Yeah, he had position no on it. Way. You realize every time you started talking, the worse the score got? You was doing real good when you was just standing up, focusing on yourself.
Game one is in the books. Henry able to take down the first game, but we got game two. We got a little twist on this one. So for now, we're going to have Henry rock the boys. <coughs> we are going oh, to have Rico rocking the San Francisco Pretty. 49ers. The realism, the feel of an NFL Sunday. Yeah, man. For me, I'm a big fan of it. So watching this thing, it makes me, it, it really helps the immersion for me. I want to be immersed in my game. And to me, that's what presentation does. It, it really sells the immersion. Really love also the addition three different commentary teams in, in this I game. I love the comment, man. I can't wait to hear the new commentary Charles teams. Have, have been so good for so many years, but now you got guys like Mike Tirico in the game. Beautiful. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, you got Kate Scott in the game. This is going to be a lot of fun. That's they right. should be showing it off during this game, but they got to they got to have some kind of presentation uh, deep dive. All right, Nick, you see right here, Mike is handing the ball off to Debo. We this haven't really heard Debo the commentary. In the 49ers playbook. So we have star-driven play call this year where you're going to see 900-plus new plays intended to get these superstars to ball. And you're going to see some of the same plays ran by these NFL teams in real oh, life. Oh, people aren't going to have problems getting the superstars to ball, the even though the plays well are designed for it. I like uh, that. It to be more consistent for the players. Right. You know, I'm glad they're doing that. They're making the, the plays more going to the, the, uh, the playmakers, the stars, right, on the team. Because when I'm playing with Washington, Sometimes I feel I don't have the routes to, or the playmaking plays to get Terry McLaurin involved, you know, um, unless I'm going deep or something. I'm usually throwing more to the slot receivers. I think there need to be more plays designed for Terry McLaurin and other stars on the teams. So I like that uh, little uh, improvement. Here. Now, if you want a rack, we're going to find you a rack. If you want a possession catch, we're going to find you a possession catch. Now we have the ability in these formations to show a different cover shell. So you're going to have the ability based on your personnel to showcase whether you're, you can show that cover two, you can show a cover zero. Uh, and that gives some <clears> flexibility <throat> to the defense, gives them an, an ability to disguise their coverages. One of the additions here in Madden NFL 25, those new custom stems. You're a bit able to change some of these routes, and you can run them in five route increments and really uh, diversify your offense just from the adjustments you're making. Yeah, you could take, you know, regular out, eight yard out, push it further down the field, pull it more shallow. Yeah, you see him changing that that little that little spot and go. That's probably my favorite thing to do in the game right now. This year, you're going to notice several improvements with our cover three. Real quick, guys, about custom stems. I think it can also backfire on you. You know, most people are going to look at it as an offensive advantage by you making adjustments based on what you're looking at on the defense. But, hey, the defense can counter that. You got to remember, now we're playing chess, guys, because if you think he's in a cover two, but he's in a he, he's disguising his coverage, but he's really in a cover three, and you adjust your route stem to go. You, you're adjusting your route stem to fall right into the defense's trap. So you have to be careful with route stems. I think you have to do route stems when you see a tendency of your opponent keep doing the same thing over and over. Then I think okay, you have a better understanding or a better judgment on how to read his coverage based on his tendencies then route stems would be great because he's not making adjustments. <clears throat> but if you're using route stems because you think you're going to get an advantage when he may be dis disguising his coverage, see, guys, there's a, there's a chess match, baby. That's what I like about this thing. You're going to see cover three get the skate call or the skinny call when you face trips or bunch. You're just going to see your, your defense face these formations in a more authentic way, more like what you would see on NFL Sundays. He threw that in the double Hard coverage. combined points in the first <clears throat> game, and we got – Zero in the second quarter. In my opinion, if I was making this game, anytime you throw in the double and triple coverage, it's going to be an automatic interception. Okay? When you got two defenders out there and one receiver, somebody should be able to pick off the ball. Because that the, the, the user have to understand I cannot throw into double coverage. When they throw in the double coverage, it should be a penalty. They should pay the price, and it should be an interception. Different feet. No knockdown. Different strategies for sure. Uh, look at C-Mac. I, I think <clears> I saw <throat> C-Mac there. It was, it was definitely They showcasing McCaffrey in this game. He is the cover boy, though. Get, get skinny and run through that hole. Yeah, so Beautiful. Look how he covers carry. the ball. Just Beautiful. contextual awareness. You're going to see these guys get skinny, move the ball away, uh, and just, just look more lifelike. Mm. That's a nice throw. throw. What a throw. That's a nice throw. And you talk about the, the trajectories and those those. Velocity that were so Look at this, guys. Look at this. You see, now 
and back in the day when the, the DB was out of position, they used to warp and go knock the ball down or warp and go intercept the ball. But now they're out of position. They're out of position. Player positioning should matter, and it looks like it does. That was a great pass. This year, you're able to do it without those wasps. You definitely want to make it do that last year. Somehow the DB had acrobatic. Perfect. Like, oh my God. I mean, that's your teammate. You don't think Lewis can play that? No. <laughs> Beautiful there pass again. George Kittle. Tevin up over the middle. Nice throw. How does the passing feel, Henry, compared to the last passing feels good, especially with these Cowboys. These, this might be the best passing team in the game. CD. CD Lamb. That boy, he, he's bad, man. Dallas don't use him right. Time in this one. A very I wish he was playing on Washington. For our first one. The competition is high flying. And speaking of competition, if you are interested Registered in getting into now, the biggest competition the in competitive SC Madden, season. getting your share of $1.7 million, sign up now. Register for the Madden Championship Series over at MaddenChampionship.com. Oh, wide open. Oh, that's one so that was another one so unnecessary one handed catch. catch. Look at that. Unnecessary. Dak Prescott, his, his, almost his mannerisms are, are into it the It seems game. like they got a lot of quarterback of um, signature moves right in the game. I like that. Signature. And, and when I say signature, I hope they have everybody, not just the superstars. Person. Some of it is just signature to the sport. You see an interception, you see the entire defense uh, go and run and celebrate that turnover, whether it's an interception or a fumble recovery. You know what, Jaden Daniels down. of my commanders have signature moves. Close ball game, 7 6. And all those films mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yo, Dak, what? Rock you seen with the pick going the other way? <laughs> Guys, this is what's going to happen. It happens in Madden every year. People are going to start complaining that there's too many interceptions. When it's their fault why they're throwing interceptions, okay? People are going to complain. They're going to water the, the zones down. They're going to water man coverage down. And we're going to go back to Madden 24. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> no, it's now, now we're not skipping. Nothing. I love the celebrations, nice though. Touch. Ah. Mike, how fun are those celebrations when you guys get a turnover? It's those is, bro, it's lit, bro. I Some people don't care about it, man, but tired. I think it adds immersion. <laughs> get the safety coming over to make a play. Yeah, those spin moves are going to be abusive. The spin move and the back <clears throat> juker, I think people are going to have fun with this year. <clears throat> Ball, balls out, balls out, it's picked up. Uh, we're running to the other end of the field, aren't we? No more celebrations. If you're Beautiful. taking hits, the defense Beautiful. is going to be able to make Beautiful. some turnovers. Especially love it, with love the, it. the new, you know, skill mechanic on hit stick. A well-timed, a perfect boom stick is going to give you a slight uh, increased chance of forcing a fumble. Back locked in. Stop, tough throw, tight window throw. Oh, yeah, that was a tough throw right there. Dangerous throw. Windows that we weren't able to throw to in the past. Oh, yeah, the Lion. Uh oh, it's the Lion. He, he picked off Micah with his own player. That's tough. That was a good user, go pick, user pick by Henry. Henry, how big do you think the, the switch tick is going to be for you? Since I've been playing, it's, it's probably the best feature since I've been playing that they've ever had. We talked about diving catches and how it's more difficult to hold on to them, but I, I would like to point out they have gotten significantly closer to the actual screen. I mean, Henry is, is a mere two steps away at this point. I tried to switch stick right there. I tried to go crazy with the switch. It, it, it does have a risk reward factor of like you're either going to get a, a huge turnover, but you also might put yourself out of the play. It, it's got to be lab. Yo! <laughs> oh, he got the block! Oh, he blocked oh, the lion! Oh, the lion! Did this man just grab my controller? He, he, he not only grabbed your controller, yo, he did, blocked it while yo, did he, he was not grab my controller? controller? I'll start with you, Henry. What's like one thing seven. playing this game that stood out to you? Maybe one thing that you liked the most uh, in Madden NFL 25? Biggest thing, probably the stemming. Stemming, you can get so creative with offenses now, especially with the new hot routes, having a post and corner uh, at your access at any point. What, what was one of your favorite things you saw from the game today? I really like the run game. Also, I do like the passing too. Yeah, I saw a lot of those. You were able to, to I think, make throws that we weren't able to do last year. <laughs> yeah, so, I like how the unnecessary one-handed catch. I was able to put the ball 
Exactly. Yeah, the they need them right here. Like in that, positions exactly. like that is when you need those sure one-handed catches. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're going to be rocking with Madden NFL 25. See you on my next video.